Hey guys, welcome back to the Rapid Purple channel. Mike here, doing a quick follow-up video on, I guess, still making your own Facebook page for your business. See, I kind of missed out on something when I did the past video, which turned out to be 20 minutes as it is, and we still missed things. Go figure. So there's a huge step when it comes to creating um, a Facebook page for your business, and that's checking to see if one already exists. So. Chances are that if a lot of people have checked into a specific location, Facebook will generate kind of a dynamic page for it. It doesn't have an owner, it's not really updated except for people checking in and posting things and so forth and so on, but it doesn't have an owner and it can be claimed. And a lot of people seem to kind of miss out on that little process, so I wanted to put together this quick video as kind of an add-on to the 20-minute talk that I did on creating your own Facebook page uh, to see how exactly you would claim a page that's already been made. Um, so I guess the reason that this didn't fall into the past video is because honestly I just couldn't find something that wasn't already claimed around here anyway. It's I mean tough in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, a lot of people have already kind of claimed pages or claimed pages on behalf of businesses so it was just difficult to find but I found one today. So let's dig into that and uh, see what things look like. So here we are, we got to the page that's been made for our business, it's dynamic, it doesn't have an owner. This is essentially what it looks like. It looks very familiar to what all the other pages are going to look like. It shows you some you know, the pictures of the people over there, some status updates, reviews, and so forth. And you have this link over here that says, is this your business? Click that, you'll be able to start your claim process. Now, if you already went ahead and you watched the past video and you made a business page for um, well, I'm sorry, you made a Facebook page for your business, and then you found one like this, you go ahead with the first option of merging this page into one that you already have. Facebook will ask you for the page that you want to merge this with, and then it will put you through to the verification process. If you have not made the page yet and you have not watched that video, I'm going to link to it below and you should watch it after this video. Hey, self-promotion. But regardless of the fact, hit the second option to claim that as your business page and hit continue. A couple things are going to happen here. If this is a page that Facebook deems can be verified over the phone, which means that Facebook is aware of what the phone number is in association to that business and so forth, you can go ahead and type the registered business phone number here. Facebook will go ahead and make an automatic phone call over there. It will give you a voice recording with some sort of four digit verification code. And then on the next step, you will go ahead and input that verification code and it will claim that uh, business for your Facebook profile and you can go ahead and manage it. If Facebook does not give you this option, this verify by phone option, they'll send you over to verify by business email or documents. So business email will verify that you have a business email address that is associated with that business. So Smorgasburg Pier 5 Brooklyn will have something like Smorgasburg, you know, Pier 5.com or Smorgasburg Brooklyn.com. Documentation will ask you to provide a bill or something along those lines that states that you know you are in fact a business owner and so forth that you have access to these things and you should in fact be managing this page. The whole verification process is honestly pretty simple. It's not complicated. It's not scary. Don't be worried about it. Um, it and it's really simple. To be honest, I've done a couple of them now by phone. I've done a couple of them now by email. Um, with sending over documentation and so forth. It's great. It's, I mean, it's a really simple process. It's easy to do. And you guys should all definitely do this. You'd be surprised that there may already be a page. I mean, for example, this one has 57 reviews. This page for this business that is not claimed has 57 reviews, right? Let's go ahead and cancel this out. 57 public ratings, 1,684 likes, 21,798 visits. Now this business may very well have a Facebook page and it can have half you know, the likes and it can have half of the visits and if they were to merge this, all of their existing likes plus this 1600 plus likes will get put together and that's, that's quite the activity. I mean that's, that's tremendous. So definitely don't skip out on this process. Take a look, make sure you run a search, see if there's already a dynamic page or something along those lines made for your business make sure to claim it or merge it with your existing business page and take advantage of well all of the people that are already talking about your business and all of that following and all of those likes and all of those visits and all of those reviews and all of those photos those user generated content photos which you guys should make use of by watching the user generated content video which i will put over here anyway thank you guys so much for watching 
Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you soon for the next one.